have been searching for you everywhere, madame. They tell me Hermocrates has decided against me. And I'm desperate. It's true for Sion that Hermocrates is being utterly inflexible, but I can't say that I blame him. But surely... You... Yes, I know that you'll say that I should press him further, but I won't. I'll do nothing of the kind. Nothing of the kind, Leontine? His logic has brought me back to my senses, and I too think that you should leave, and the sooner the better, probably. What? You call this coming to your senses? Yes. What about my love for you? Which blinds me, which is all I can see, all I can think about. You. Only you. I want to touch you. I want to embrace you. But I restrain myself. You see me burning with the most tender passion. And instead of applauding my self-control, you ask me to leave? To just walk away? No, Leontine, no, 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 no. That is one sacrifice I will not make. Not even for you. Ask for my life. Tear out my heart, but leave you. Impossible. Oh, for see what you ask. And all the more so after such an outburst. Oh, my God. What would happen to my heart if it were exposed to yours? How could a woman like myself be expected to withstand such a torrent of passionate words? I would always be fighting you and struggling with you, but never win. You say that you want me to experience the joy of love, but all you make me feel is... Without you. Don't turn this garden into the tomb of despair. I don't know who I am anymore, or if I am. Because you're heartbroken, I must love you. What kind of a tyranny is this? Do you hate me? Oh. But what does your heart tell you to do? I don't want to listen. 